MAGA Inc. immediately launched a multi-million dollar ad effort targeting Kamala Harris, and it's airing in Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona. We're live at the White House. I'm Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Christiane, thank you very much. Recent polling shows little difference between how Harris and Biden stack up against former President Trump. In a Washington Post average of 11 post-debate polls, Trump leads Harris by one and a half points, which is slightly less than his roughly two point lead over Biden in the same polls. CNN and NBC polls have Trump up by two points over Harris, and you can see there's only a one point difference in the Fox, NPR, and Reuters polls. And it's not just lawmakers throwing their support behind Vice President Harris. Labor unions like SEIU, United Farm Workers, and the American Federation of Teachers have also now offered their endorsements. Black women are also starting to mobilize behind Harris. Overnight, the organization Win With Black Women held a virtual fundraiser, and that raised more than a million dollars in about three hours. The group plans to hold another Zoom meeting in support of Harris today. Women from historically black sororities were among the other women on that call. Now, Republicans are already turning their sights on Vice President Harris and turning up the intensity. If you ever wondered how Joe Biden could get the border so screwed up, remember, he had help. <laughs> An attack ad made by a pro-Trump group is airing in key battleground states. The video was produced days before President Biden's announcement. Former President Trump did return to the campaign trail over the weekend, as you heard in Christian's piece. Uh, he held his first rally with running mate J.D. Vance in Michigan. It was also Trump's first rally since the assassination attempt. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of President Biden's decision to drop out of the race for the White House. Coming up at 1130, Senator Alex Padilla replaced Harris when she became vice president. We'll talk to him about the next steps she faces as the DNC convention nears. Several wildfires are burning here in Southern California as we...